I had a student ask about this test for independence on uh, the 10.3, 10.4 homework and thought I'd go over this one. Basically they're seeing whether obesity and uh, their dating or marital status were associated or not. And so this is a test for independence. Uh, in a test for independence, we're assuming that the two items are independent, which means they're not associated versus the alternative, which means they are not independent or they are associated. And so that looks like this for my null and alternative hypothesis. I'm supposed to use the chi-square test of independence because the data were from one random sample where people were classified in two ways. We do not have a random sample or random assignment. So we're going to test to see whether they could have occurred by chance. Find the smallest expected count and find out if it's more than five. So to do that, I'm going to open this in StatCrunch. I'm going to go to Stat, Goodness of Fit, Chi-Square Test. Oh, no I'm not. I'm going to go to Stat, Tables, Contingency Table with Summary. And my I want all of these for, dang it, <laughs> there we go, and my row variable is that first one that's not labeled at all, and I hit compute, and I get my contingency table results. I can also pick expected count right here and in parentheses it will give me my expected count. So the smallest expected count I have looks like 107.73 right here in obese cohabitating. 107.73 which is more than 5. Report the level of significance alpha. They tell me that up there in the problem that's 0.05. Calculate my chi-square test statistic. Did I close that out? Darn it. No, here it is. So if I go back to those contingency table results, they have that already for me. I can also run a goodness of fit, but my chi-square test statistic is 41.32. And notice my p-value is less than 0 .0001, 41.32. And my p-value I can't get down there. Point zero zero zero. So it's so small I will reject the null hypothesis and if I reject the null hypothesis I'm concluding that they are associated because my, uh, my status quo or my null hypothesis that I assume is true is they do not have an effect on one another, that they are independent. So if I reject that, oh, it says do not conclude. I want to conclude and conclude that obesity and relationship status are associated. Can we conclude from these data that living with someone is making some people obese and marrying is making people even more obese? Can we conclude that obesity affects relationship status? Even though it shows it here, this is an observation, ob observational study, so I cannot use it to make those kind of conclusions. I've showed they're associated, but I don't know that one causes the other. Find and compare the percentages of obese people. So I think I'm going to stop this one. I think you can do this. I would take 75 out of the total in the dating column. I would take 97 divided by the total in the cohabitating column. I would take 154 by the married column. Keep those questions coming. I really like making these videos if they help.